Welcome back to Los GF, and we're doing a special, we have a special guest I'll get to in a second, World Cup in November. What the fuck's going on here? Qatar, Italy's not in it, we'll get into that in a second. But this is my boy Pierce, a friend, and what is your title? Let the SFW community know what you do. What's up, John Franco, GF, what's up, everyone? So I'm the executive producer of the SFW show. I'm a soccer coach as well, and I'll be leading this soccer podcast, right? So the first time in a long time we have a World Cup. Actually, the first time ever we had a World Cup in fall, winter. We've never weird. seen this before. Do you yeah, know? I think it's weird. I think it's weird. I think that's weird. I have to bring it out. So I'll, uh, before Pierce breaks down, because he's the soccer guy, coaches soccer. So this is the original flag from 82. Um, so we might as well just get this out of the way. A few things. <laughs> Uh, it's embarrassing that they haven't qualified for the last two World Cups. I don't know how the fuck that is. If, uh, you know, again, um, we're on YouTube now. We're on uh, Instagram. Guys, girls, please let me know. How did it get to this? I don't understand. I don't know how Italy can't produce forwards. And they, they won the Euro, but they couldn't qualify for the World Cup. Makes no fucking sense to me. But uh, during the World Cup, I will be re-watching... Uh, you know, our glory at Euro 2020, Wembley Stadium. Sorry to my English friends out there, but we, uh, that's a moment that'll never, uh, you don't get over it. And I'll give you an example. I'm not over, see, you know, I talk to real soccer fans, not enough of them, especially these young guys I know. They don't mention USA 94. I don't think you guys understand. To anyone who's, I'm first generation Italian, parents born in Italy, very proud. But Canada is your number one team, and we're going to get into that in a second. But, you, it, it's embarrassing that no one mentions that. You lost in the finals in a shootout. It doesn't get any more heartbreaking than that. England fans know what, what we've experienced. I'm not saying Italy's the only one. Everyone's had the heartbreak, but over and over and over again, and it was devastating until they won in 06, and then getting this Euro help. So anyway, that's my little uh, Italy portion of it. But I'm gonna put this flag away now because I've also run into some fans, Pierce isn't like this, but they're like, they don't give a shit about this tournament. Italy's out and they're not going to support Canada. That's pathetic. I don't give a flying fuck who raised you, your grandparents, you make sauce, you make sausages. I don't care what kind of greasy wop you are. That does not matter. It's embarrassing on all levels to not support Canada soccer. We know the colors. Maybe you don't like it as like the Azzurri. They don't have the history. They don't have the winning tradition. No one's saying to not be an Azzurri fan. I will always be an Azzurri fan. Yeah. But you have to now make room for Canada. Just like those teams, those soccer moms, anyone, that their kid makes it to the pros, or they have a brother, two brothers that made it on two different teams. You have to have that jersey now. The down the middle jersey, and you can cheer for two countries. Why? Portugal and Brazil do it. So anyway, support Canada. Stop being that kind of overly proud Italian. When you guys, no offense, probably don't even know how to speak the language. At least I studied it. I know what I'm doing. I probably speak better Italian than most of them too. Exactly. I'm raised at home. I love my life. And my mom taught Italian. So no offense. I'm a real Italian Canadian. There's a lot of fake ones. Especially where I live. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Support Canada or you look like a fucking clown. Now let's let's continue on here. So like we were talking about, right? The first ever Winter World Cup. The competition's been around for approximately, what, 92 years? You were going the first one way back when? Yep. And let's look to the future for a second. Canada will be hosting the next World Cup. Mexico, USA, Canada, 2026. We got Toronto, Vancouver, Edmonton. The game has been growing since the mid 2010s. That's why I became a coach. I saw the trend going this way. And we got Davies, David, Estacchio, our goalie from Serbia, Boyan. We're a very good team, but, but is this World Cup our chance? I still think it's a bit too early, but we'll get into that in a bit. Yeah, I, I okay, so I'm touching on that. I personally don't expect much from uh, them this uh, go round. But four years from now, yes, I think that Canada can be one of those dark horse teams. Maybe the refs are on their side or some shit like that, like we saw in Korea. Uh, again, as an Italy supporter, we got fucked. So did Spain and Portugal. Maybe something like that can happen. But what do you... Let's get into it. They're playing Belgium, one of the top five teams this Wednesday. I think I'll be with my buddy Bobby down at Young and Dundas Square. You're more than welcome to join us. Just going to try to you know get some hype going, interview some people. And once again, support the team. Just like we support the Leafs and they suck. And the Raptors until they won the title. Canada's on the scene now for soccer. Basketball's coming soon. Mm -hmm. You gotta support if you're a real fan. If not, you're just a follower. But what do we, uh, what do we got here? Belgium, Canada? What do you got? So here's the thing. Belgium's been ranked number one many times in the last few years. We have to ask, why? Have they won a Euro? Have they won a World Cup? 
They have you. So what gives them this title to always be favorite of Brazil, Argentina, even Portugal? Portugal won a Euro. They were never number one. So Belgium's one of those dark horse teams that I don't know if we could trust them that much. That being said, they do play in Europe. They play against consistent competition at a high speed, a high level of play. The top players in the best leagues and teams in the world. Canada, we're just entering that phase right now. So in a game in a one-off in the first one, what do you think I'm going to predict, Jeff? Well, us being friends behind the scenes, we don't just work together on this. Uh, I think Pierce is, is predicting they might not even score a goal in the three games. I, I see them scoring a, a goal. I don't know if it... You know, you know what, though? Based on Belgium, and again, I'm not a soccer analyst, people, so take it for what it is. Uh, that guy De Bruyne fucked up the other day. They didn't look too sharp. I know it's a friendly. Or it's a friendly a week away from the big one. I think Canada can jump on them. I think Canada can stay in that game, maybe 0-0. Zero, zero, and maybe Laren or David or Davies, those are the main guys that I know. Mm-hmm. Somebody makes a play, goes off someone's ass and in, and we could get one of those one nothing classic upsets. But I do agree with you. Uh, he knows soccer, clearly. Uh, the expectations aren't too high for Canada. This is the first time that I was born in 83. Anyone my age or younger, we've never even seen them in the tournament. So it's going to be more of a pride of, wow, they're on the big stage in the big tournament up against good competition. But Belgium, Croatia, Morocco, I, I think they're clearly not going to be favored in any of those. So I'm going to go to you. I think they're going to go 0-2-1. and Somewhere they'll get a tie. We'll celebrate it. What do you think is going to happen in the, in the round robin? So I noticed a couple of things you mentioned, right? So first of all, friendlies. See how the European teams take friendlies? It's a time to sample the squad. Try this guy there. Try a couple of new tactics. Only in Canada and America do we give a fuck about a friendly. <laughs> you think anybody cares to beat Japan 2-1? We were celebrating a 95th minute goal on a fake Panika. It wasn't even the greatest play of all time. And we're celebrating, yes, we beat the Japanese. But that's what we do in this country. We hype up small victories. We beat Cuba. We beat Martinique. Right? We had to bring the Mexicans to the Arctic to finally get a victory. 